Hello and welcome to a new tutorial regarding VR in Unity, especially the MetaQuest and Unity 2022.3D LTS version and the URP render pipeline. We're going to use the official Meta documentation here. I'll just switch to it every now and then to just show you where I'm looking up more information. And first of all, we're going to create a new project 2022.3.01f and the 3D URP core template. I'm going to name it just Quest in URP. Create a new project and I'm going to speed up the video here so that you don't have to wait for all the initialization process. In the meanwhile, let's check out the documentation. There is a lot of information in the documentation how to set up your headset, how to go into developer mode, how to install the Unity editor. Make sure to just have a quick look and to ensure that everything is set up on your machine. And so you can start directly with the setup and to follow along, I'm going to connect my Quest via USB to my PC so we can use the edit to play mode to test our, I would say, application in this case, the basic setup with pass through hand tracking and a little bit of a presentation of a geometry. In this case, it will just be a cube with a um, shader graph, graph, and we're going to use the official MetaQuest package for all the interaction stuff. We won't create interactions in this tutorial, but maybe in the future one, let me know in the comments if you want to see something like that. And the rest will just be, as I said, following along the documentation and walk through it so you can try everything yourself. Um, just a word of warning, I'm using the Quest 1 here, so I'm pretty sure that most of you will have the Quest 2, but it should work nevertheless. And if it's not working, I'm trying to mention everything to get it working on your Quest 2 as well. A big help will be the project setup tool, which will basically do all the fine tuning for us later on. And there is also a troubleshooting page, which should help if something went wrong. And we're going to use the hand tracking. I will not set up the controllers here, only the hand tracking. If you want to have your hands as controller or only use the controllers, the documentation here will also help you out and explain what's, what you're going to do, what, you, what you're going to need for the correct setup. And of course, I will link all the documentation stuff in the description box below. The same goes for the interaction SDK, but as our project load is now finished, we'll just start right away. We're going to the project settings. First of all, installing, switching, installing the XR plugin management. Wait for it to finish. And make sure that the plugin management always to choose Oculus for standalone. And Oculus for your Android platform. In the Oculus settings, we're going to change nothing. We're going to the build settings, switch to Android, switch platform. Waiting for it to finish again. And here we go. Window package manager. I have it in my assets already because I already added it to my assets. You can also look it up in the asset store and get the Oculus integration. 
I'm trying to use at least at that moment the last version. This is the version 45. Where is it? Here we go. And now I'll just show you the asset store page. You can just open, click here to open it in Unity or to add it to your assets. And the button for import is now on the upper right corner. Click on import, waiting a short time, then clicking OK. Click on import, everything. Click on yes. We're going to choose all the recommended actions anyway. So. We don't want to send meta or data. Yes, we want to clean up our package, all the recommended stuff, except for the data sending. Click on upgrade, restart, waiting for it, the next. Dialog will also tell us to restart, click it again, and we're waiting for it to restart. Here we go. Sometimes it's not going to restart, or it will not ask you to restart because the focus is gone, so just clicking the Unity Editor again and Bring it to, into focus should help you with that. And we're waiting for the startup. Here we go again. And as you can see, there is already a warning down there. And we can check if we have the right backend activated via tools and the OVR utilities plugin. Set OVR plugin to OpenXR to use OpenXR. Perfect, everything is correct. And let's click on Edit Project Settings Oculus. And we can just click on Fix All and then Apply All and then wait for it to finish. Here we go. Let's check everything is set up. Nice. Delete the main camera. We won't need it. Go to XR. Just cleaning the console. To so Oculus VR, not the XR folder, to prefabs and get the OVR camera rig. It's our base rig. And we're going to set up the tracking origin type to floor level. Controllers and enhance. Frequency to high, and I'm going to activate the pass through support for supported and click the checkbox for enabling pass through. Let's see if there is anything else to activate. Tool settings, nothing. Security is okay, experimental is okay. Nice. Then go to the left-hand anchor and the right-hand anchor and add the OVR hand prefab. But before we're adding the hand prefab, just check if the color gamut is set correctly. You can set it to Quest 1 if we're using Quest 1. And let's check the center eye anchor and change the 
No, I think it's in the environment tab here. The environment background type to solid color to black and full, also no alpha at all. This will be important for pass through later on, adding the hand prefab to the left hand and the OVR hand prefab to the right hand anchor. And make sure to uncheck everything because the skinned mesh renderer material will not work. The skinned mesh render uncheck, OVR mesh uncheck. And make sure that only the first two OVR hand and OVR skeleton are checked because we will need the data later on. And make sure that on the left hand everything is set to left hand and on the right hand everything is set to the right hand. Let's check with the documentation. Okay, here's our camera rig and we will add the OVR interaction prefab. I'm going to look it up now. It's a little bit faster than searching. It's in the OVR integration folder under prefabs and add it on the same level as the tracking space. And beneath there, there is the OVR HMD and we'll add the new hands, OVR hands here too. And these hands already contain everything we need for hand tracking, the left hand and the right hand. And these two scripts will be necessary for everything. Let's check. Okay, the hand tracking version must be set to version 2. Forgot that beforehand. Here we go. And let's see, adding the over hand prefab. You see all that's checked and unchecked here. And enable physics capsules on both hands. That's the checkbox over here. And the OVR skeleton script. And hand right, hand right. I'm not quite sure if we have done that already. Let's check. No. And right, and right. And let's do it here too, just to have it completely switched. And I'll just rename it to left dot OVR hand prefab and the right dot OVR hand prefab. Just for easier distinction later on, maybe if we're going to continue with this project, everything else is already set up here. Nice. And as you can see here, set up controllers as hands or set up the controllers is also part of the tutorial of the documentation. Everything will work out now and then under tutorials, you can find especially the hand grab poses, the ray interactions, poke and grab and how to throw and so on. Um, just check it out. It's for Mac too. So under, um, doesn't matter which kind of system you have. Just the finger specify grab surfaces and the grab interactors for left and right hand or even for the controllers, depending on what you want to wanna set up. How to create a grab interactor well, that looks good here. But let's zoom in. As you can see, here are the black hands that you may already know from the main menu from, from your quest. And it's basically looking very, very good. We're just going to add a cube here. There we go. And just place it a little bit more to the front and a little bit more up. And as you can see, it already has the universal render pipeline lit material but we're going to replace this default material with a shader graph material just changing the scale to 0 0.3 to have a little smaller cube and now let's go and create a new folder create folder call it material no shaders and within the shaders folder, we are creating a new shader graph, URP, the unlit shader graph. And what do we call it? We'll say testing, test material, first URP, first shader graph. 
showdown. Not the best name, I know. Double clicking, opening shader graph. We're not going to do anything here, just leaving everything as is. Just to have a shader graph material here. And we're going to click on Save Assets, right click on the shader, create material. I guess the name is fine, doesn't matter anyways. Dragging the material on the cube, and our cube now has a shader graph material, unlit, created in URP. And let's see if we're missing something. Next thing is starting the Oculus app. To make sure that Oculus Link is working, I just minimize it and attach my quest and put it on. And here we go. And now I'm clicking on play. And I don't have pass through, but you should see in the lower right corner my hands and the cube. Everything is rendered in a correct way. I'll just take care of the pass through. I think I just forgot to add something. Let's see the over camera rig and the center eye anchor. Ah, okay. Here we go the OVR pass through layer. Don't forget to set it the placement to underlay and everything should work fine. You won't see the pass through in the editor, but I will see it in my headset. Let's check. Here we go. Pass through is working. There is the cube. There are my hands. Everything is looking good. And I guess that's it for this very short tutorial. Um, Please like and subscribe and comment if you liked the video and if you want to see more of that or if you have any specific idea what to do now or what to, how to continue this tutorial and I'll see you in the next video.